Hello, this is Lindsay Adler, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add textures to your images in Photoshop. You can add the textures for dramatic effect, or also to make your images look old and worn. The first example I'm going to be using is of a cityscape in Scotland, and the second is a fashion image I took. So let's get started. Before you get into Photoshop, you need to photograph the texture that you're going to be using for this image. In this case, I photographed an old brown paper bag. Now I have both the cityscape and the texture open in Photoshop. To open them up side by side, you go to Window. Down at the bottom, it displays all the different file names of the images that you have open in Photoshop. So I select my texture. The next thing you want to do is hold Shift, and with your cursor, click in the center of the textured image. Then, while still holding shift, you drag the texture onto the image, and in this case, it's the cityscape. Now what you'll see is only the top layer, which is the texture. Now what we're going to do is adjust the blending mode of this top textured layer. By adjusting the blending mode, we're going to change how this layer interacts with the layers below it. In this case, we want to go over to the mode and click on overlay, and immediately you see the change. You will notice that the image not only picks up the texture of the paper bag, but also picks up a bit of the color. Also in this example, the interaction of the two layers lightens up my midtones a little more than I would want. So for my own creative purposes, I'm going to try to darken down the image and make it a little more dramatic. To do this, I'm going to use adjustment layers. So what I do is I go down and click on the little half moon cookie or adjustment layer button, and then go and select curves. Once I'm in the curves dialog box, I'm going to click somewhere in the middle of the line and drag it downward to darken the midtones and the overall tonality of the image. And then I click OK. Now there is adjustment layer and a layer mask created for the curves effect I just applied. For those of you familiar with layer masks, you know the saying, white reveals, black conceals. What this means is if you look over at the curves adjustment layer, you see the little white box. That white box is saying that you see this curves effect you just applied. Since white reveals, that means that this effect is revealed over the entire image. So if you want to conceal this effect, or basically just erase this effect, what you're going to do is with a black brush and select it on this layer, you're going to paint black where you do not want the effect to appear. Like the saying says, black conceals, so it will conceal this curves effect. I'm going to go in and make sure I have a black paintbrush, pick a mid-level opacity, and paint black where I do not want this new curves adjustment to appear. I'm going to go through and erase the effect where I think the shadows are too dark. And there you have it. Now you have an image with beautiful texture and a little bit more dramatic tonalities. So now I'm going to do the same thing with a fashion image and add texture, maybe not to make the image look old, but to have a little bit of a worn dramatic texture. So I do the same thing as before. I click in my textured image, and while holding shift, I drag it into the fashion image. Then I'm going to go over to the blending mode and change this to overlay. Now you're going to see the texture of the paper bag throughout the image. However, this is not the skin tone that I would want, and it, you know, it looks off and unnatural. So I'm going to click on the background layer, go to my adjustment layer button, select hue saturation, and I'm going to decrease the saturation of the background image. So now you'll see that it's kind of more of a sepia tone worn image than before. Now perhaps you think that this isn't enough texture, that it looks slightly worn and you want something a little more noticeable. So the next thing you do is you select that textured layer and you drag it down to the button besides the trash can. This is going to create a duplicate layer. Now again, this makes the colors all off and look awkward. So I'm going to select just that top textured layer, go to Image, Adjustments, and Desaturate. So this is going to desaturate all the color out of that top textured layer. So now it basically just picks up the texture of that layer instead of also adding the additional color. So here's before and after with this new textured layer. If you think that's too much, you can decrease the opacity to where you think it looks right. So here's before and then after. And it creates this very beautiful textured look that makes the image look worn and moody. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like more information and to see additional tutorials, please visit www.adlerphotoworkshops.com.